Hello from me and hello from Marianne, mm. <laughs> who's having lunch. Big I'm meanie. just about to get stuck in, if you'll pardon the expression. Mine's over here. But we've just arrived. It's the middle of the day. Uh, we came down fairly late on this morning, a very relaxed start, but it's beautiful weather. Look at this. And talking of beautiful, apart from Marianne, of course. Of course. Look at my beautiful boat. It's just looking lovely. There we go. And we have a very relaxed itinerary, basically. And so we've got down here late morning, got the uh, everything tucked away, and we are going to go boating. There's a plan this afternoon, and we're going to take you guys with us. But first of all, lunch. Lunch has been had, the cover has been removed, and we are going boating. This is the point where everybody writes in the comments that your batteries need replacing. Yeah. They've been replaced. It just does this. Oh, that was pretty good, wasn't it? That was pretty enthusiastic. I thought it sounded pretty average, pretty standard. Okay, fair enough. Uh, right, we would like that one on. We would like the Raymarine. What do you chart for this? I must put it in later. Here we go. And we want VHF radio on. We want the bow thruster on. And uh, I think we're about set. Okay, there's not a lot of wind. I think hook the bow line off first, if you'd be so kind. And then work your way back, hook the other badges off. Oh, it's nice to be going boating again. It is nice. Look at that, always nice to see a smiling face, isn't it? Okay, bow is off. There's very little wind and very little tide at the minute, so we're just sat here quite happily. That's good, all off? All right, here we go. Look ahead. When it's like this, you've just got all the time in the world. So just gently manoeuvre. Couldn't be more beautiful, could it? Just look at that. It's fantastic. To fill you in with the plan, it is basically point of order. Oh, hello there. <laughs> you there, to me. You started with the word so, and it drives you nuts when people start sentences with the word so. I did not. You did indeed. That is didn't bad. I'm going to have to rewatch this. Carry on. Okay. No, I think in those circumstances that's okay. I'm not answering a question. It's it's when people answer questions, they'll say, like on TV, they'll say, how how did you find the match today? And they'll go. So, I think we had a good second half, but the first half wasn't quite so good. And I'll say, why was the first half quite so good? And I'll say, so, well, we had people who weren't quite up to speed. They weren't, you know, this sort of thing. And it's like, why? Why the so? So, if we could, we could wake those people back up again and get them watching the video. Right, good. Anyway, I mean, the plan today is... <laughs> that's the other thing that really irritates me. Like. <laughs> this is going to be one big bitter moan, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the plan today is that basically we're just having a very chilled out day. We haven't taken the boat out to sea yet because I only went in the water a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to head out, give it a bit of a blast. And then we're going to come back in. We're going to tie up and just chill out on the marina. And we are eating aboard tonight. We're sleeping aboard tonight. And then tomorrow we will play by ear. But tomorrow night we have to be back home because we're going to a gig and who's playing at the gig my daughter is playing at the gig yeah so we got basically kind of 24 hours on board but then we are coming back down again after that so yes. it's all good is that sue over there it's a very sue looking boat that is her silver outboard, yep. Yeah. You sure? Fairly, fairly sure. Oh, 
Well, they're doing a good job of ignoring us. There we are. You and her abuse. Yeah. Hey there! How are you? Oh, tickety boo, how are you? Very well. Yeah. Hey. All right, well, maybe see you later. Maybe see you later for a cup of tea. Bye. Well, that was nice to see him. It wouldn't be quite right if Sue wasn't out on the water there, would it? If we came out here and there was no Sue, it would be... No, it just doesn't feel good. No, there's something wrong. There has to be something wrong. Where we are now. about half a mile out there we go that's Dartmouth back there we are at the harbour limits which means there's no speed limit so what I'm going to do is pop the engine hatch up because the boat's been serviced and it's not been run for a while we just want to make sure that everything is as it should be nothing's a little bit loose and leaking in the water or anything else it's just a uh, I've never had a problem to be fair but it's just best to check so we're going to flip the engine hatch up Okay, if you could just very gently ease it up to about 3,000 RPM. Should be. We can drop that fella back down. There we go. We're good. Right. Let's head on the coast, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Quite good fun, this. Oh, it's not too bad. I pointing straight away from the land and going for it. All right.
old stomping ground, we're back in Torbay. So we've gone past Barry Head, that's over there, and this is the bay. Painton over here, Brixham over here, Torquay over here. Well, I think we'll do a lap around Torbay, and then we're going to head back down to Dartmouth again. But it's nice to get the boat a really good run, and it's lovely to be back out on the water again. And one day, I might even get a drive. <laughs> this area and it's reasonably calm, nothing about and not much tide, I think we're doing a speed test. Okay. So if we point it down in towards Torbay, Torquay rather. Trim the out drive leg out so that the dial is on about uh, just gone well about seven o'clock. So she's very clean at the minute because she's only just gone in the water so it's a good time to check everything's okay make sure it's been meeting its maximum res which is three and a half thousand. now. Okay. So that's just coming up on three and a half now and the speed we've got here is 31 and a half just nudging 32, just a little bit more trim. There we go, that is pretty good. So considering we're full of fuel at the minute, but that's pretty much bang on three and a half there. And we are getting, you're just nudging 32 on there. That's bang on, that's exactly where it should be. 32 knots, three and a half thousand RPM. And we're flying, look at that. That is flat out on Smuggler's Blues 2. Yeehaw! Okay, he's back. Well, that's my teeth dried out. <laughs> Go a bit two, uh, two eight, please. And then trim the leg back down. So it's uh, back down to about five o'clock. Lovely. That trimming the leg out just lifts the bow and helps it skim across the surface. That's basically what that does. But if you have it trimmed out when you're going slowly, it tends to drag the stern too much. So that's why we want to trim it back in when you slow down. Well, that's very pleasing. That's doing exactly what it ought to do. Oh, it's fun. Oh, yes. Speed. Mind you, we're still an awful lot faster than sailing. And when I get sailing, it's great, it's peaceful, it's lovely. If you've got to go anywhere, then this is the way to do it, I think. This is a proper trip around memory lane now, isn't it? 
This seems to be the end of the of the fun for us. Yeah. Coming back into Torquay. This is Torquay Marina. And this is the town dock marina, which is where we used to be for many years. Still a lovely spot though, isn't it? Yeah. But I think I prefer where we are now. It's got many, many advantages. Nice Princess 55, V55, I should say, on the outside there. That's Silver Fox. There are some lovely, lovely boats in this marina. Fairline Tiger 43, Princess V52, whatever that is. And then uh, another princess on the inside there. I'm sorry, did you not know what that was? I knew exactly what that was, I'm just not saying. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Do you see? Oh, are you being petty? A little bit. It's a shame. It's a shame. There you go. Now, I feel quite nervous. Do you want to take it in? Yeah, because I, I, you know, it's, I really have de-skilled, I feel. All right, here we go. No, that would spoil the whole day. Mm, actually, several things have changed. Yeah, we were berthed where Water Speedwell now is. Yeah, that's right. And then there was a boat in here which is obviously not there at the moment. Black Pearl, that one. Black Pearl, that's exactly right. I tried going on the plane here. Yes, you did. That was exciting, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's on a video somewhere. It is. Very few of my indignities now escape this silver screen. Exactly. There we are. Well, that was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, trip down memory lane. Have you ever done the big wheel here in Torquay? No. Have you not? No, it's high. You know what I'm like with high. Have you not done the London Eye then? I have done the London Eye. Yeah. That was fun. It was a view though, it was a hell of a view from the top. That's the rib that I learned to drive on. Yeah. Just there. The finger of doom. So when you used to keep boating there, if you came back now, the sill is up, therefore there's no berthing your boat. Yeah, exactly right. You have to wait. You can tie the boat up now. A visitor box here you can go on, but of course, in the summer it never was full, yeah. so it wasn't ideal. These were the Torquay Marine Sales first when I ran Torquay Marine Sales, so we kept our boats on here. Okay, and Leslie G3, I sold him Leslie G1 and Leslie G2. I no way. Time he bought Leslie G3. Nice chap, actually. Very nice chap. It's nice to see lots of them in use. Yeah. People are aboard them at least. Princess V42, they're a lovely boat. I like those very much. That looks like one that I sold back in the day. So that V42 in there, that is probably about a 2009. Still perfectly, perfectly good and new, really. Just looks after. The Fairline. Turbo 36 on this the end. This here? No, the one right at the back there. Var Var R. They are around 1990, probably late 80s. Right. 1990. Lovely boat. Yeah, it's very um, a substantial boat, isn't it? Hi. Hello. Hello. They're nice people. Yes. This is pretty here on the end. Oh, that's a lovely thing. I think that's a Dale Nelson. I might be wrong. It's hard to say from this angle, but I think it could be. And they are a very, very lovely, attractive boat. Seriously, I do well. like these, um, the dark blue hull as well. That's yeah. gorgeous. That is a Dale Nelson. That's 45. Nice. Yeah, beautiful. Look at the lines on that. Yeah. Gorgeous. Shampoos, you'd be on this boat. Mm hmm.
expecting the raptor coming in. We have a video of this boat and it is a flying machine, 60 knots. Absolutely incredible. Very well, how you doing? <laughs> they are good guys. If you want a real thrill ride on a boat, come down to Torquay and have a go with those guys. Triple, I think they're 350 horsepower outboards, 60 knots plus. We took that out for a blast when they first got it. Made a video, it's on the channel somewhere. It's just a beast, an absolute beast. Welcome to Torquay. It's not can, is it? <laughs> right, I am going to stop just for a moment. I have another quick look in the engine bay just since we've got a flat out blast, just make sure everything is as it should be. I'm sure it will be, but we ought to have a little look and then we'll head back. Yeah, no smoke, dry bilges. Very, very pleasing. Superb. Right. Do I get the privilege to drive my boat back? Go on then. Right. Let's get the flock out of here. Chopping just around there, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice.
potter back into the river now, back up onto the berth, get the canopies up, settle in for a nice relaxing evening on board and a night on board. I've got, to, I've got to make you dinner. You have. It could be a lot worse though, couldn't it? Oh, it could, yeah. What a beautiful way to spend the day. Our lovely lovely marina just coming up on the starboard side of us the east side of the river fantastic feeling confident oh I was born confident <laughs> well let's watch <laughs> see if anything goes wrong then all right A good one. We were going to go in bow first. We and, um, were. <laughs> right. We're doing yeah. that again. We'll do it again. All right. Bow line coming off. Okay, we need to get the bow line on first because the tire's going that way. Okay. We might have to adjust it. We'll see. We'll okay. It Love it. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Playing it by ear.
Got it? Well done. Perfect. Okay, bow line on. That's it. Are we the way around? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Good. It's just like that. We have put the front section of the canopy up and we are staying on the boat tonight so we are now just chilling. Marion's poking at her phone, she was reading a book a minute ago and this is our view. Look at that! It is just such a peaceful, peaceful place to be. Look at them seagulls stood on top of that boat there. Blighters. <laughs> yeah. This could be a lot worse, couldn't it? It could be. Can I tell you about my about my jumper? Oh, please do tell us about your jumper. This is my lovely new wool jumper, and this jumper, and you have one as well. Which, I do. Uh, it was a gift from a guy called. Uh, it'll come to me. But um, Mars Knitwear is his company, and he sent us two beautiful wool jumpers, and I've been wearing mine all day, and it's gorgeous and snuggy. It is pure wool, so I've got to I've got to make sure like it doesn't. I've got quite sensitive skin, so I've got long sleeves underneath. Make sure I don't get itchy. But um, love it, love the colour, love how warm and toasty I am. Thank you very much, Yusuf. It was Yusuf. I think it was. Oh, oh did you fall over? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Yusuf Lalila. La la I'm sure he's going to be very impressed with your butchering of his name. Here you go. Yusuf Lamalia, of course. And it was Mars Knitwear. Yeah, MarsKnitwear.com. Go and have a look. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. There you go. I'd like to say thank you to Philip Kai, who is a music composer. And he very kindly composed a piece of music just for Aquaholic. And you are about to listen to it right now. Thank you, Philip. It is now about 20 past six and it is just getting more and more peaceful down here. We've put a little bit more canopy up so just to stop any breeze at all. So that's on both sides. I'm doing my comments because the video has gone live today. So I'm just checking on those and responding to a few. And down here there are some wonderful, wonderful smells of food because Marianne is cooking dinner. It could be a lot worse. Dinner's ready. Ooh. Let's go see. Wow. I'm going to throw some light on the subject. It is now about 25 to 8. We're back up in the cockpit and it is so still here now. Look at this. Sun's just gone down. Dinner was absolutely delicious. <laughs> I didn't actually have to hearse him or pay him or anything to get him to say that. No, it was. It was. What are you reading? I'm reading uh, Lee Child. 
the killing floor it's my first you've just read this and you really rated it yep so i'm i'm reading it now so I, you are basically tucking yourself away with a good book i am <laughs> we are living the dream <laughs> we're very simple folk <laughs> we are we are i'm reading Radio Yachting right Magazine, as is my want. In particular, this rather interesting article here by this chap, Jim Brennan, James Brennan, what's he called? I think we know him. This is John, John Brennan. Brennan. John Brennan, of course it is. We He's have... The loveliest men on the planet. He is one of the loveliest men on the planet, and we he has taken us out on this wonderful boat, and, uh, and we had a really good trip. But he's been taking this down from Cork in Ireland all the way down to France. He's an intrepid boater, is Mr. Brennan. And there it is again, in the marina. Hello, John, if you're watching. <laughs> we must catch up soon. Anyway, that's about it. We're just chilling here. And then when it gets a bit chilly, we're going to head down into the cabin, put the central heating on, and uh, watch a bit of TV. So I might just show you that, and then we'll probably sign out. <laughs> The rest of the You're going to show these people us watching TV? Well, I'm going to show them what we're watching because it's rather special. Oh, I see. I understand. Okay. All right. Well, stay tuned. Well, it's cold outside, but it's warm in here. We've got the central heating on. We're all tucked up. It's all very cosy, and we are continuing Marianne's boating education mm -hmm. because you cannot consider yourself a true and proper boater until you have watched every episode of Howard's Way. Here we go. Oh yes, bye bye everybody!